okay uh, in this tutorial uh, what I'm going to tell you is uh, about a quick test professional uh, GUI so we start from file menu here you will get uh, new you are going to open the new tests new function library and business component and uh, uh, business component and uh, scripted component and application area these three are for uh, business process uh, testing then you can open uh, test or function library from here and this is for quality center connection. You can directly give the cent quality center's uh, URL and then uh, user and password and then connect to the uh, quality center and then you can save your tests in the quality center. And uh, this option lets you uh, export the test to zip file and this uh, lets you import test from zip file. This is very important settings. This settings uh, are like um, for every test there will be some uh, specific settings that you can uh, make. For example, here you can see associated add-ins for this test, and then in run you have options uh, to give the data table iterations, like run on iteration only, run on all rows, and run from row one to run hundreds. When error occurs during run session, you can set this to uh, proceed to next step. It just is, this option is uh, generally used when you want to uh, execute it on, uh, in uh, night mode, or if you want to debug the scripts, you can use pop-up message box. An object synchronization timeout is 20. This is default uh, timeout for uh, all objects on the in the application. You can change it to 40 uh, or whatever uh, limit you want. Then in resources, you can associate different function libraries in your to your tests. So all the functions in this library will be available to the dis this test. And this data table is a default location or other location you can choose. Default location is under test directory. So that is XLS file you can uh, select here. In parameters, this is input parameter and output parameters you can set for the test. This is generally not, not used in uh, ID industry. So I will not uh, give more details about parameters. Now next is environment. There are two environment variables built in and user defined. Built in variables are like not. Uh, uh, they cannot be edited for example operating system local host name etc and user defined variables are like uh, you can edit or create new variables here just give the variable name and then variable value and then again you can export uh, these variables as well you can also load external variables from this option and those variables that are loaded from the external xml file are not editable so in user defined there are two variables internal and external internal variables are not read only so you can edit them but external variables cannot be edited then for web application there are specific settings like browser navigation timeout that is 60 seconds then recovery you can add recovery scenarios uh, to your tests from here select recovery scenario file and then from this in this recovery scenario file there are four scenarios so you can choose any of them so before you select it uh, from here you need to define some recovery scenarios for your test and then only you can uh, be able to select a QRS file from here and then select the scenario from here so just click here add scenario and this scenario will be added to this and then you can activate your scenario on error on every step or never so generally the option is on error or on every step so this will make your uh, script very slow and then you can set this apply click on apply well uh, cancel that now this is about uh, settings view then there are active screens data table debug viewer information missing resources these are different uh, screens in QTP active screen shows the application under this data table used to store the rest data and debug viewer where you can see the runtime variables or debug the your scripts information it's like general information of the script and the missing resources will show you the missing uh, object repositories or missing uh, associated function libraries and there are two views in QTP keyword view and expert view keyword view is like you can sh uh, see the exact how a QTP will um, uh, exact item operation and value for this uh, all statements so for those who are not a programming expert uh, can see this uh, what uh, the QTP is actually doing in the keyword view. In expert view, you will give the uh, you will get to see the exact uh, coding lines.
this is about view and then uh, there are the checkpoints checkpoint is nothing but verification point where we are verifying that the particular uh, value is uh, actually uh, matching the expected value output value is some values where the uh, we, are, we are going to store the random uh, data from the application start transaction and end transactions are used for uh, calculating the time the uh, particular uh, functionality of the application is taking to run and these are the uh, we can create new actions from here automation here there are uh, record and run settings and uh, from here we can see the results here you can record particular test then resources there are object repository object repository manager associate repositories now object repository is the heart of the QTP here all objects are stored in uh, our QTP their uh, description properties and their values so object repository manager used to uh, edit or merge the TSR files TSR is nothing but shared object repository files now shared object repository files can be created using object if you go to object repository now this will open the local object repository if you select export local objects it will create the dot tsr file here you can see the extension so this will create the shared object repository shared object repository is independent you can attach it to any test then there is a recovery scenario manager here here you can add new recovery scenario, recovery scenario for your test so if you click here it will give you the recovery scenario wizard you go here then uh, select a trigger event type then give the descriptions then select what you want to do after a particular event happens for example a function call or say close application process and then finish you have to give the recovery scenario name add scenario to current test or not and then finish it so you can add this scenario to your test and debugging is possible just put the breakpoint like this so this is a breakpoint so QTP will stop execution at that point it will pause there and then you can proceed from there using these buttons F10, F11, Shift F11 or Control F F10 and then we can add a watch using control T insert remove breakpoints using F9 and control F9 you can disable that there are different tools like object spy object spy is used to uh, learn the object uh, properties and their uh, values so this is very important tool so you just click here and then uh, click on any object so it will select that window okay this object is window is class name is window and this is enabled is equal to these are properties and their descriptions values so I think uh, these are shortcuts for uh, test settings uh, object repository this is quality center correction this is uh, active screen this is data table this is debug viewer this is information this is missing resources this is options this is check syntax this is ob object spy then this is results this is for uh, function definitions and then this is for uh, adding checkpoints this is actions to calls uh, creating actions start transaction end transaction and then this is for commenting and uncommenting I think I have covered all the important aspects of the QTIS professional and from here you can go to different slides that are prepared by me that uh, describe in detail what QTP is and how to uh, design the keyword driven automation how to, how to do the scripting in QTP thank you